Ba -da -da -da. Oh, you didn't know? Ba -da -da -da. Yo ass better go somebody. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. Like I said, baby, I'm always right when it comes to what I think about professional wrestling. How is that all these Hall of Famers, all these legends in the business, right? All these guys who are famous, who are top-notch legends in the business, how come they are always agreeing with me without actually knowing who I am, actually, right? It's like when I hear Eric Bischoff, he always says stuff that coincides with what I say, right? When it comes to Jim Cornette, he says stuff that I say. Vince Russo, he says stuff that I say. Now, we got Road Dog saying what I'm saying. Then, we had Conan, we had, we had Disconferno agreeing with what I'm saying without actually playing my videos or knowing who I am. See, I don't want people to know who I am. And here's why. I want things that I say to turn out to be factual. I don't care about having this guy who's famous hearing my videos and trying to prove me right, which means, okay, it's like, okay, if I say something, that means I think that this guy is playing my videos. No, I'm not saying that. I don't want them to play my videos. That's the point. It just means what I, what I say is always facts. I know what the hell I'm talking about. If you hear other guys with bigger names saying what I'm saying, that means what I say is always factually correct. And I'm never wrong. <laughs> Dog. Didn't I say that Ricochet should be with Max Dupree? Now there's tons of videos. There's tons of websites saying Ricochet should be with Max Dupree after I said it, right? Now, I'm not saying they took my idea. No, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying what, what I say, eventually people open up their eyes and eventually co-sign what I say without actually hearing what I had to say. That's what I mean. The road dog said that Wardlow is holding a jobber championship. That's what Jabroni means. What he really said was Jabroni title. What that means is that is a jobber title. The TNT title is a jobber title. Nobody cares about it. So basically what he's saying is Wardlow has been booked like crap since beating MJF. You know who else said that? Cornet said that. Conan said that. Um, uh, I think Cornet said that. Discoferno said it. I said it. I I upload the first video. I think I think it was way back when when Wardlow did not go into that battle royal. And I said, you know what, bro? That guy is buried. Why didn't you go after the royal title? Why did you go after the TNT championship? The, dog, the same championship that played a major influence on Cody Rhodes leaving in the first place. Go play his interviews. Cody Rhodes said he didn't want to be a 15-time TNT champion. He said that with his exact words for Bader. He said that. He said he didn't want to be a 15-time TNT champion. And he didn't like how the way Sammy G was holding that TNT championship. He said once Sammy, look, he said Sammy took a picture of the title while, while he was naked. Remember remember that photo? Then Cody said, you know what, bro, Sammy, why did you do that, man? That's not what the TNT championship is about. So that title... You could make the argument that title was the that was one of the main reasons why Cody Rhodes left. That title was becoming meaningless. The fact that Sammy G was being handed multiple title opportunities at that championship 
how it seemed like Sammy didn't really care about that title. The fact that I think uh, Scorpio Sky, he had short reigns with that title. Like, huh? <laughs> this dude is a two-time TNT champion, and it's like, why? Why is Scorpio Sky a two-time TNT champion within a, within a three to two month span? Like I said, I said the 24 7 championship seems more prestigious than a TNT championship. And I made a video saying when Warlow becomes the TNT champion, I said, I'm not going to care. I mean, it's going to be meaningless when he wins the TNT championship. I said, nobody's going to care. Why? Because he should have went after the world title and he didn't. That's what I mean. I said, I'm not going to care when he wins the TNT championship. And didn't you see that match he had against Orange Cassidy? Now, look, I like Orange Cassidy, but that match should have never happened. Once again, I feel like what was Barry. I was with a main guy saying he is Barry. I said he has been booked like crap ever since MJF got beaten by him. That's what I said. I said he is Lex Luger and Braun Strowman. And now everybody is jumping on that bandwagon now, huh? Now you are trying to hear what I'm saying now? Now, people always ask me, am I a heel, right? When it comes to my persona, am I a heel? No. Now, look, I... Once upon a time, I did think I was a heel, but no, nah, I don't think I'm a heel. How am I a heel when I don't really say anything that's factually incorrect most of the time? Like, how am I a heel? If damn near 90% of the business agree with what I'm saying, and now I'm talking about the big names. Listen, I'm not talking about virgin neckbeards with a damn podcast. I'm not talking about them. I mean, the hell? I'm talking about guys who have been in the business. They always agree with everything I say. That's what I focus on. I focus on their opinion, not fanboys' opinion. No, I focus on big honcho's opinion about what I, what I say. That's what I focus on. But do I think I'm a heel? No. How am I a heel when I'm always right with, with what I'm saying? It's like, no, I think, I'm a, I think I am an anti-hero. It's like, I'm not bad, but I'm not good either. I'm like in the middle. I focus on myself. I focus on my opinion only. I focus on what I think and what nobody else does. I'm like Batman. I focus on what I'm thinking, right? So no, I don't think I'm a heel. How am I a heel in... I'm always going after toxic people, right? I'm always going after toxic people with toxic opinions. Like I said, even Swerve, Swerve Scott, Swerve Strickland does not like that little midget for New York. What does that tell you? When you got top guys like that in a business that, that don't like dudes like that, okay, I don't like him either. So how can how am I heal when damn near 90% of the WWE roster has that guy blocked on Twitter? Nobody has me blocked. <laughs> nobody in the business right now in wrestling, nobody has me blocked. You know why? Because I'm very neutral on my opinions about professional wrestling. I'm very neutral. For example, I said that AW is nothing more than an indie that's high budget. It's a super indie show with a high budget. I don't care how big their arenas are. Okay, all those people are just smart marks who are indie fans. Hence why Tony Khan never gives anybody anybody vignettes who came from the indies. He thinks we all supposed to know who the hell they are, right? Because he knows his smart mark audience follows the indies. So, so he feels like, okay, they know who this guy is. We don't need to... to to introduce him, right? So that's not that's not impressive. That's not impressive when AW sells out a show. It's the same people who go to these shows. So what's the point? How's that? How's that impressive? 
It's the same people. Same smart marks, same people. Nobody cares. Who cares? Omega has a strong fan base. The Bucks got a strong fan base. The Bullet Club, they got a strong fan base. The fan base are going to follow them wherever they go. So how is that impressive? Who cares if they can sell it? Who cares if they can sell out a building? It's a building filled with smart marks. Not casual, it's just smart marks. Talk, there's tons of fans out there that are smart marks. There's like millions of fans that are smart marks. That's not that's not impressive. I look, Road Dog said that AW is an indie show on a high budget. That's what he said, and I 1000 percent agree with him. I've been saying that all year. I've been saying that since day one. That AW is an indie show on a high budget. It is. When you watch an indie show, it looks no different from an AEW show. When you watch the WWE, it looks vastly different from an indie show. What does that tell you? It tells you the WWE is a is a professional product. And AW is an indie product on a high budget. It is. Dog, half of the roster still looks like indie guys. Am I wrong? Dog, look at Wheeler Useless. Dog, I can't believe that match that I saw tonight. It was the best friends versus Dean Ambrose and Wheeler Useless. They made Wheeler Useless look like Roman Reigns. This dude was kicking out of two pile drivers in a row. Some some pale skinny guy that has less charisma than Dean Malenko. You are booking him to be like Roman Reigns now? Like, wow, that shocked me. I thought the match was over. <laughs> I thought the match was over. This dude kicked out of multiple finishing moves in that match. That pissed me off. It's like seeing him in the combat club, it feels like I'm watching Spike Dudley, even though Spike Dudley is way better than Wheeler Useless. But look, I'm just hoping they will eventually replace Wheeler Useless with Kyle O'Reilly. Hopefully, hopefully they will Wheeler Useless and put him back with Orange Cassidy and his homeboys. Put Kyle Riley in the in the um combat pool club. It just it insults our intelligence seeing Wheeler useless being booked like Roman Reigns. Like, like, like huh? Like he looks stronger than he looks stronger than Dean Ambrose in in that match. That was insulting. I'm like, wow, man. We are booking powerhouse Hobbs like a mid card guy, and when. We are booking Wheeler Useless as a top guy. From a visual fan perspective, if I'm a casual fan watching AW and I'm like, hold on, why is this Wheeler Useless guy being booked so strong? And you got guys like Powerhouse Hobbs being booked like a being booked like a goddamn tag along. Like a mid-card guy. That's 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 just there. Like, why are we booking these tiny men like they're top guys and you wonder why you ain't reaching 1 million views every week now people are trying to go after Road Dogg's opinion about AW like why how about you come after me I've been saying everything he's been saying once again how am I heel dog I'm a I'm a I'm a goddamn anti-hero how am I heel when everything I say is always right how could everything I say, I'm always being co-signed by a legendary professional wrestler? Didn't I say Warlow is buried? Now everybody's saying he's, he's, he's buried now. Now everybody's saying Warlow has been booked like crap. Who had the balls? Who had the guts to make multiple back-to-back -back videos saying Warlow has been booked like garbage? He's been made to look like an idiot. He's Braun Strowman and Lex Luger. Warlow's world. That's so corny. I caught, I caught that out. It's like, what are we doing here? 
It's like, no, nah, bro. What 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 Road Dog said was factually correct. If tons of people like me are co-signing what he's saying, is factually correct. Dog, I don't care about smart marks, neck beards, bashing Road Dog, bashing me, bashing other people. I don't care about. They don't care about them. I care about people with a strong damn platform. Like a road dog, like a disco inferno, guys with a strong platform who who are in the business, who have book shows, trained wrestlers. Road dog has trained wrestlers. He has book shows. He's a legend. He's a, he's in a goddamn hall of fame. Like that damn freaking Whoopi Goldberg said. Oh, this is why nobody wants to hire road dog backstage anymore. I'm like, bro. Road Dog doesn't want to work for anybody. Have you ever thought about that? Dog, Road Dog doesn't want to work in AW. Dog, freaking Billy Gunn is there. Obviously, if he wanted to, Billy Gunn can get him hired. But obviously, Road Dog doesn't want to work for AW. And I don't, I don't think I blame him. Dog, Road Dog, he is chill. Okay, why? Like, dog, just because a legend bashes AEW, it does not mean they are jealous because they want a job there. Get over yourself. See, this is why people hate AEW, man. This is why people want to fail. This is why I go after, this is, look, this is why I go after Whoopi Goldberg. This is why I go after that little midget for New York guys with a big platform lying like that and people always say people look, look people always say my videos deserve more views right and here's why my videos don't really get pushed as much as they should compared to others right it's because i don't bash look i don't bash the wwe i don't i don't kiss ass of a w right how come everybody who bashes the WWE, their videos always get pushed on YouTube? Why is that? But the people who, who have common sense, who look on the brighter side of the WWE, their videos never get pushed. I'm one of them. It's like, dog, I'm not saying AW sucks for shock value. I wish AW was was good, but it's not. How how is it good when, dog? I said the TNT Championship is a joke. Nobody cares about it. Why would Warlow pick that jobber title over the world title? So it, that title is a jabroni title. In wrestling terms, that means that it's, that's a jobber title. Listen, that title hasn't meant the damn thing ever since Brody Lee died. Let's just be real. That title hasn't, hasn't meant the damn thing. I'll say Miro had a good run, but ever since then, that title has been booked like a joke. Dog, I was pissed off that Miro actually got beat by Sammy G. I felt like that was a bad decision. And now, and now look, that, look, that's a joke title. And now you got Road Dog saying the same thing I'm saying. So how is it a good thing that Warlow chose the TNT Championship over the world title? Dog, don't be disrespectful, right? I respect people who have more knowledge about professional wrestling than me. Now, I'm not talking about fans. I'm talking about guys in the business. Right, I care about what legends think about professional wrestling. I pay attention to their opinions, like a Bruce Picture, guys like that, guys who have book shows, Jim Ross, guys who are sign talent, book shows. I pay attention to those opinions. That's where I get all of my knowledge from when it comes to professional wrestling. Guys who have been in the business who know more than me. I don't care about neck beards, okay? I really don't. 
And it's obvious I don't because how come all of the legends always agree with everything I'm saying? Now, look, I'm going to say it again. I don't get pushed on YouTube as I should. Look, my channel is better than a lot of channels, man, that get way more views than me, but I don't know why. It's like, dog, why are y'all playing his videos but not mine? Is, is it because you love hearing what you want to hear? See, that's why people, that's why YouTube ain't pushing my videos like they should. See, I see, I say stuff you don't want to hear. Once again, how my heel? Heels don't tell the truth, right? Heels tell lies and make you believe what they want you to believe. See me. I tell you factual stuff that always comes true. Am I wrong here? No. You see, I don't get pushed like I should because people like playing videos that they want to hear in terms of you only you only want to hear videos that you want to hear where it's like if this guy says Roman Reigns sucks, you are going to click on his video and you are going to press the like button because he's saying stuff you want to hear. If, if, I, if I say some critiques for AW, most likely you might not play my goddamn video because I'm saying stuff you don't want to hear. That's why I don't get pushed like I should. Right? It's like there's something wrong when you got half the damn roster in the WWE who has that midget for New York blocked on social media. What that means is you got a lot of people in the business that thinks he's factually incorrect on, on everything he, he goddamn says. Right? But the point is, I'm on Team Road Dog, man. Dog, Road Dog is right. Eric Bischoff's right. Conan's right. Kate, freaking, um, freaking, um, um, Inferno's right. Viz Russo's right. How can you think you know more about them when it comes to professional wrestling? Like, who are you? All y'all got regular jobs. None of y'all have t none of y'all have taken out one bump inside of a goddamn wrestling ring, and you think you know more about Vince Russo than when it comes to wrestling. You think you know more? You think you think you know more about Road Dog when it comes to professional wrestling? People look. People are saying, "Oh, what does he know? Look how bad he booked SmackDown." Well, y'all was not saying that back in 2016, right? Y'all wasn't saying that when he was in freaking NXT, right? Now look, I had no problem with how the way Raw Dog was booking SmackDown. Y'all just figure smart marks. Who, who cares about your opinion? Have y'all ever taken a bump? Have y'all ever cut a promo in front of millions of people? No. What do what do y'all know? Once again, I get all my knowledge from people who have been in the business. Also, from a fan perspective, yeah. I talk from a fan perspective, but at the same time, I learn from the very best on how professional wrestling works. Everything Road Dog said was factually correct. Wartlow is holding a job title. How is he wrong? How is he wrong? Was Scorpio Sky a great champion? No. Was Sammy G a great champion? No. Was Cody Rhodes a great champion? Not the way they were booked. All three guys are very talented, but they were booked like crap as TNT champions. Tony Khan didn't care about that title, and he still don't. So yes, how is he wrong? See, y'all just y'all just want to hate on anybody who wants to hate on on AW who came from the WWF. It's like y'all, but y'all pathetic. Like, like I said, how am I here? I don't know. I'm a, like I said, I'm an anti-hero, man. I'm not on anybody's side. I'm on my side. I see things the way I see it. Not the way things you see it. I see it. I see things how the way I see it. But how I see things, other people always co-sign what I say. Without actually knowing what I say. 
That's the best thing about it, right? So I agree with everything Road Dog said. AW is a high budget indie show on a big network. That is factual evidence. I'm, I'm done.